right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again here for another review. What we're going to be talking about today is a rig mod. We're going to be talking about the Descendant from Rig Mod. And it's like, uh, it's looking a little bit half polished right now. And that's because I took some catch up to it earlier. And don't worry, I'll show you all that footage. But like I said, this is the Descendant from Rig Mod. It's a single 18650 hybrid top cap mech mod. It's got an unbelievable switch in it. And I have really enjoyed using Using it. But in order to get to know this mod just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close. Yeah, as we often do, quick short up closey time. <clears throat> All right, yeehaw. What we have here is the Rig Mod Descendant, or at least the tube from the Rig Mod Descendant. This was once a bright, shiny copper tube, and it's got some serious patina action happening on it. 25 millimeters around. It's a hybrid top cap. So you have a hybrid 510 that just screws into the top here. You don't need any special tools or anything. There's two notches here. If you want to use like ceramic tweezers or a screwdriver or a pair of pliers or something, really super easy. But you actually don't need any tools at all you can just screw this in with your fingers screw this in and out with your fingers and I'm going to show you the switch in one second but right down here is the very very large safety vent hole in the very unlikely event of some sort of battery failure this is where it will vent from and like I said I'm going to show you the switch in a second but you put your batteries in positive side down in this because batteries vent from the positive side and if you have your positive side next to this giant vent hole it's just another level of added safety, like I said, in the unlikely event that you have some sort of battery failure. Looking at the switch, you can kind of get an idea of how my Revenant used to look. Revenant? Descendant. Nicely engraved there on the bottom of the switch. And this is a double spring switch design. This switch design is kind of the greatest thing I've seen in a mech mod. You have one spring that goes over your switch. You also have a big contact right here. And this is what's making contact with that positive side of the battery. Nice big contact. So your switch goes into the base assembly, which is also nicely knurled for unscrewing it and screwing it into the mod. And then you have this wonderful magical piece of anodized aluminum. Your contact is going to drop into there and there's a lip around the edge and that's where your battery is kind of going to sit when it's not getting pressed by the contact. So I promise this looks kind of confusing, but it's all going to come together real quick. You have a secondary spring that sits right there. There's a little notch right in there and then this gets pressed down into here and you kind of compact it all down together and you turn the switch like this you turn your button and screw it all down there's no real need to crank this down you just kind of get it thumb tight and then that's the switch right there big contact in the middle little rim for your battery to sit on and then you have a recessed switch but watch what happens when it all comes together once I attach an atomizer to the top and I drop the battery in here positive side down and I start screwing this down you're going to kind of see the button sort of lower into place. The battery is pressing on that red aluminum sleeve and it's pushed your battery into place. So now when you press it, yeah, there is a little throw and it is firing firing, 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 and now there's a little throw. Now this does not have any sort of locking ring or locking feature. If you wanted to, you could give this maybe one, two, three turns, and yeah, that's gonna keep it from firing. Remember when you're using a mech mod that you are the safety, so really be aware of what you're doing. When this is screwed in, you're gonna have a short little throw here. It's stiff, it's a stiff little throw, but it is just a short little throw. If you wanna turn that off, kind of give it a one, two, three, jobber like that no more firing unbelievable switch really nice feeling mod up and down top to bottom it just feels like a nice mech mod with a nice button I like the added safety features I like the switch I like that there's literally nothing to adjust as long as you attach a hybrid safe atomizer to the top you will be good to go but what does a hybrid safe atomizer look like all you need is an atomizer where the 510 pin is protruding past the threads you need to make sure it's not squishy or adjustable in any way. It needs to be rigid and static. See this goon? 510, very, very past the threads. Also a peak insulator. This is a static 510 connection that's safe to use on a hybrid. This is the recoil RDA, nice and protruding. This is the dead rabbit RDA, nice and protruding. And this is the reload RDA, nice and protruding. So you screw your atomizer down. The switch takes care of itself. There's literally nothing to adjust. And now you have a little short 
short throw for firing your atomizer. Anyway, this descendant is starting to look like a roll of shit covered pennies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tube upstairs. I'm gonna grab the ketchup out of the fridge and I'm gonna try to clean this up a little bit. And what a difference of ketchup makes. That's like night and day, man, night and day. I didn't have a toothbrush. I wasn't able to get into all of this engraving on the rig logo, but for the most part, that looks like a completely new mod. So we're gonna put this all back together. We're gonna attach an atomizer. We're gonna get back out to normal view and we're gonna vape it. So yeah, that's the rig mod up close and personal. As you can see, a little ketchup goes a really long way. And unfortunately, I didn't do the button yet, so I kind of have this sort of, you know, super very tarnished -y bottom housing button on here. And even though this mech mod is 25 millimeters around, I'm still rocking it with an original recipe recoil on top, which is 24 millimeters around with the top cap on, and it looks fine and works fine. There's a little lip around the top, but that's kind of the great thing about 25 millimeters millimeter mech mods is you have some room to kind of grow into them. If you only have 24 millimeter atomizers, yeah, you can use them and they will work and look fine on this mech mod. But when the day comes and you want to get a 25 millimeter RDA, boom, you can pop it on this mech mod and it'll sit perfectly flush all the way around. I'm really impressed with this mod from top to bottom. I like the threading on the top. I like the housing on the bottom. I love the way that this switch is put together. I love having this big, big vent right here here and your battery is facing down, positive side down, and you have this huge vent right here. This is just a really well made mech mod from top to bottom. I have a dual coil 0.12 ohm fused Clapton in here. This descendant is hitting nice and hard. And just a heads up for anyone that's going from a regulated mod to a mech mod, like you've never used a mech mod before, all you're used to is like dual 18650 regulated type mods, and you come over to a mech mod, you're gonna notice a pretty severe drop in battery life. That's really just the curse of the mech mod. I personally really enjoy using mech mods despite the drop off in battery life. I like carrying something like this around. Just a tube and a bottle of juice and it's a small little like minimal form factor and I, I'm just a big fan of mech mods. Now keep in mind this mech mod is 100% made in the USA in Southern California so it has a little bit higher of an asking price. Over on the Vape Amp Rig Mod store this exact copper mech mod 190 dollars yeah th there's no way around it 190 bucks is pricey and i can very very confidently say that i would absolutely pay 190 dollars for this mech mod i like this mech mod so much that if the aliens came down or the fda came down and they took all of my vape gear this probably would be the first mech mod I go to. And don't get me wrong, there are lots of really great mech mods out there. I like the sub ohm innovation stuff. I love the Kennedy stuff. I like the Duvo stuff. I like that V-God mech mod. I like the coil art mech mod. I like the geek vape mech mods. And even in my head, comparing all of my experiences with all of those mech mods, including the Descendant, the Descendant is the one I come back to that I am truly, truly impressed by. Not to mention the fact it's 100% made in the USA by vapors. And to me, that is really important. And I promise I'm not trying to make this just sound like some sort of rig mod infomercial, but I believe in the company. I like that they produce their stuff in the United States. I I like that it's high quality with safety in mind and they're still 
innovating. This switch in here is an innovation and it's great. As someone who's been using mech mods for eight years now, to be this impressed by a new mech mod that just came out, I think is a really unique thing. I'm sorry, I'll stop gushing now. You're gonna need your vape budget hands. It's 190 bucks. This is something that I would have to save up for and buy. But this is also a mech mod that I feel that you're going to buy for life. This isn't something that in a few months is going to break or crack or the screen's gonna go bad or the button's gonna break or the wiring's gonna fry or your 510's gonna pull out. None of that. This is just a workhorse fucking mech mod. Sorry, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'll put a link down in the description to the vape amp store where you can check it out if you are interested, but the Descendant is definitely getting one banana sticker. I'm even gonna give the Descendant two full banana stickers. I think it's just a stellar, stellar mech mod. So yeah, enough rambling. Thank you so much for watching everybody. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping. Give it to me.